Okay, we've just arrived at Anstrother uh, for a sunset picture. Uh, not much time for this because the sunset's in half an hour, so we've got to set up quickly. We're going to head off right to the very end of the pier to the beautiful lighthouse of Anstrother, which is quite famous. We set up really quickly uh, because we haven't got much time and I put the board up and I'm now just blocking in a sky. Um, I'm not sure how good the sunset's going to be tonight but we will give it a go. Um, so just this is the sort of underpainting of it. So I've done the this sort of land spit at the end here and then the sea at the bottom coming in. So this is just a turpentine mix again. You can see I'm working as fast as it will allow me to. There you go, it's quite like that. So that's the first layer done. I'm going to mix some colours now. So I'm mixing a few of the colours, a few, some reds and some yellows, just to give it a, a, a bit of a range so I can work from it later. Maybe some Alizarian Crimson as well. So I'm just preparing myself really for the uh, forthcoming onset, but I'm not too sure how, it's good, how good it's going to be in terms of the sunset. Not an amazing sunset, but who knows? I'm going to start at the top of this now with the, the lighter shades. And they're really quite, oh, they're almost white at the top. A bit of orange in parts of it. And just going to pop them in. So the, the sky is really really light there and then it gets quite suddenly suddenly darker at the bottom okay I like that so there's a light cloud going across here the top and then that blue cloud is rimmed with a bit of yellow okay I'm going to get that purple color in now quite darkish purple Reds. Oh, that's a bit too dark there. Really lovely colour. It's quite dark. Not sure how much we're going to see in a minute as the light fades. Quite nice. And then it goes pink at the bottom. So there's a pinkness here. Maybe a bit lighter. We're joined by a fisherman in the distance, just over there, but we're hunting different things. I think mine's more long-lasting, but I'm sure his is very tasty. Okay, that's pretty much the sky there. And I've seen that there's a really nice um, vapor trail over there by a, a jet, which I'm going to try and put in. I need a clean brush. Right, going down to where the sea meets the uh, sky, a little bit there. Okay, and then it, it sort of shafts in here a bit so we're getting the sort of glow of the of the sky in here that's it and we need some blue of the sea as well not much color in the sea tonight And then the last thing to do would be the, the bit of land that's in the distance there. Fun things, land, doing, doing uh, sunsets. I really love it. Lovely reflections in the water. And coming up higher as well. 
Real rainbow colours. So bright at the top of those clouds. That's nice. Now it's just the bit of land to pop in now. So it's what colour is that? It's a burnt raw umber, I'd say. Cliffs in the distance, and we've got a really interesting tower there. I might get that a little bit lighter behind, behind the tower. So I'll lighten this bit here up. That bit. And that bit, just to give it a bit more drama. And we're going to. A little bit of green on there too. More green for grass. And then we have this lovely little tower, which I think I'm going to put there. Right there. That's nice, and then there's lots of little things there. Little other little buildings, another tower here. Specks of them, and a little tower here. And then there's a f below here. There's another little few few rocks coming in. So the sea is, I think it needs a little bit more of something in it. Maybe a bit of darker bit, it's just because it's the wavier bit. There's a, there's a few sort of shadows coming into it, the waves coming in. So we need to make it a bit more choppy. Choppy over there. The light at the top. Thicker and thicker paint. And get the sun really thick. And there we have it, um, a really quick painting. Uh, the board is 10 by seven inches and um, it's a nice size for sunsets because it's all over very quickly. You can't really do a big painting on that one, but I, I liked it and um, I, I really found that fun. That was the most fun I've had in painting for a long time. That was like really, really good, <laughs> really, really good. Um, anyway, there it is. Uh, this will be a very quick YouTube program and uh, hopefully you'll see it there soon. Um, thanks very much for watching. And if you can subscribe, that'd be great as well. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.